It's Scott here from Rebellious Noise and we're here with the 100. What's up? Hey, hey. what are you doing? Yeah, I'm good man, how are you? Yeah, yeah. not bad. We're here gig. today at Camden Rocks. In a lovely little booth. Yeah, it's yeah. lovely, isn't it? Yeah, you know, very nice. What would you name this castle? Um, King Castle the Third. King Castle the Third. King Castle the Third. That sounds good. King Castle the Third with little little flowers. Oh, that oh, one. Oh, it moves. Oh, no. oh. It moves. Oh. It moves. It I'll leave that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We uh, we didn't do that. We didn't touch. That. No, I didn't, uh, didn't touch cool. that. Alright, so let's start off with your sound. Obviously, you guys got uh, a nice little uh, rap, almost grimy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Metal sound, uh, which I think is really unique. A couple years ago, me and my friends, well, we were playing in bands and stuff like that. We we're doing a yeah, yeah. similar kind of thing, and we were thinking about the evolution of that kind of. Uh, Okay, let's call it new metal. Yeah, 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 but like a British version, and we're yeah, saying yeah. it's only natural for this sound to come out. Yeah. Now you guys are coming up with this kind of thing. Uh, you got Hacktivist, a couple of bands like that out there in the moment. I gotta say, I really like it. Uh, out of all the new bands, this is my kind of style. It's cool, cool, cool man. Man. nice. Um, yeah, where did that come around? I know you guys are from London, so um, obviously you're gonna grow up around that kind yeah, of. Yeah, I was gonna say like when I was young, guys, listened to a lot of like hip hop and R and B. Like I, to be fair, I wasn't like a metalhead at all. Like yeah. until I was about. Well, it was really weird. I was when I was like eight or nine, I started got, like listening to Papa Roach and Linkin Park and yeah. stuff. But purely because I knew they had more hip hop than rock, and then it was only like when I realised oh, I actually like all of this, yeah, I started yeah, getting yeah. into rock like music. Into exactly. Rock, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that kind of got me into it. But before that, I was like Eminem, Exhibit, and all that kind of like yeah, not yeah. not even like UK stuff. It's only been kind of in the last five or six years I've actually got into kind of like grime music and such. I mean, I still listen to a lot of hip hop and stuff, but. I'm not American, yeah, so I can't put an American say, accent. Yeah. So that's if I, the weirdest thing with bands. Yeah, yeah and it's some. I mean, some bands is not really a fault of theirs. Exactly, like, it's just the way it comes. That's across, the thing, and there's certain styles. Yeah. There's no UK hip hop. There's exactly. no such thing as UK exactly. grime. Yeah, there's no grime. US so grime. If you're gonna so do an English accent, you're gonna sound like a grime. Exactly, artist bang. Metal band, there we go. So, so it kind but, of evolved from that. But it's good though. It's come. Obviously, it's come quite naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have part of the American kind of twang? No, not at all. Not at all. No, at all. I don't. I never get that. I. There's a lot of bands out there which do it. Cool, it works for them. Yeah, yeah. I can't. It, it, it just, I feel like it's I'm awkward. putting on the voice. Yeah, awkward. Yeah. It's like when you try and do someone else's accent and it doesn't work, but like, good yeah, enough. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, no, not cool. How, how do you guys find it with like the audiences? Do you, do you find yeah. like, hip hop heads into your Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's like. When we like the first like, sort of like playing shows and stuff like last year we played, played so many different shows in front of so many different crowds because like we've got so much in our music that we weren't sure how we, we were playing with like DJs and yeah, playing really? clubs and yeah yeah, yeah yeah so it's like we're playing we played before like Tech One okay, who did like yeah, his yeah. dubstep like yeah. stuff yeah. and you know there's people there which are literally just there because I'm listening to dubstep so we went down like yeah. and then we played like we played like the bands like Skin Dread and stuff yeah and yeah it's, it's you know we've had a few people be like oh you know this is like yeah. pretty yeah. interesting like so yeah, cause a lot of time if you like Skin Dread you kind of like that scene anyway. Well, that's the thing, yeah, yeah they're kind of that. like the easy branch into crossover music, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. In the sense of like they do the rap rock thing, so, and they're not, they're kind of commercial to be perfect, aren't yeah, they? They're yeah. not like deep metal or anything like that, so yeah, yeah, you kind yeah. of like them, you're probably more than likely going to like our kind of stuff. We don't say anything like Skin Dread, but. Yeah, well, yeah. leading on to those kind of bands like Papa Roach. You mentioned him earlier. Uh, you guys did a tour, and recently, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We was outside the Papa Roach gig doing an episode of Week or the Q and A where we interview fans and oh, stuff cool. like that. So uh, there was a big, big buzz for that night, yeah, especially man. that night in London when they did. Um, yeah, in Fest in full. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, how's that for you guys? First of all, playing with those guys. There's, does that come around? Well, as I said, like when I grew up listening to like music and stuff, Papa Roach was one of the first ones. I actually got a commemorative. Infest's logo oh, tattoo mate, I've to whilst I was on the tour with them. <laughs> so, That's yeah, no, they're like the nicest guys, but um, yeah, it was incredible, wasn't it? It was like flat yeah, out the coolest was, thing ever. It was like. It was surreal, uh, wasn't it? We, were sort of, we felt like a bit out of our depth in a way, but at the same time, yeah. like, we just sort of just. We, like, we played like the first show and we saw like how big like some of the rooms yeah. we were going to play. Yeah, man. And we just sort of just. The like, Land was massive, yeah. wasn't it? Like, but it's just sort of like I think as we just got into it, the more shows we played on it, it just became natural. Yeah. Really. yeah. It's just the thing is, like, we were playing to 100% new fans. Yeah. Like, yeah. they're like no one out there barely like apart from just like you know like you see a gig and you go oh, check out support acts, listen to them. And you listen to like 30 seconds, you go yeah I know what they sound like. Yeah. There was about 10 or 15 people that probably actually knew us. Yeah. So it was kind of cool knowing that we had to kind of impress. So we went out there yeah. like 
we had it. to yeah. we had to work for it. Yeah, yeah I mean, and it wasn't all, easy, but like it benefited um, us. Although they're very like obviously they they start with a new metal genre, they've wrapped up themselves. These days they're not exactly on no the path no, no like so it they've was, had eight so albums. When they? I went to the Infest one, I was so, we were interviewing people outside and we were breaking a lot of news. A lot of people hadn't heard. Did you know the new Infest? And like people were ecstatic about it. Some people were like, oh, I wanted to hear. Yeah, you know, yeah. 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 So I was shocked at how many people. We're into the newer stuff, and then it's like dawning on me. Hold on, a lot of these people might not even know Infest. No, well, so it's, I mean it's great. That's the thing. It's like it's incredible for them. Like it's, it is really cool when you kind of see them go. Yeah. It's a nostalgic thing for us because we're 23. Yeah. But then there's kids out there 16, yeah, yeah, 15, yeah, yeah. and they're like, "Well, I wasn't around when Infest yeah, was made. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know what it is." So listen, them listening to Fear, like the reaction they got from that was like, "Yeah." It's when they ended the Infest set and they went into yeah, they went into yeah, uh, yeah, yeah face yeah, like, getting away with murder tracks. Yeah, it was nuts. It was. Crazy! It was like the gig for certain people. The gig just started. Yeah, you know I mean, but it was great for me because I love both sides. Exactly. Of it. I'm, I'm way yeah, into yeah. the old stuff, obviously, but um, yeah, it was really good. Atmosphere. Yeah, it was cool, man. It was cool. It was cool. And another thing we covered was Breakout Festival last year. Yeah, I was sick. And uh, we did a similar kind of show. Yeah, my shorts fell down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They actually did. There's like a pic. There's someone a caught picture. me jumping in midair. And my shorts fell down, so you just see my ass. Oh, like, but, lo- time to but luckily, yeah. luckily, because I've got the leggings thing sorted out, the leggings and shorts thing, you can only see my leggings. So it wasn't a bare bum, but it was a bum nonetheless. It was a bum nonetheless. So they're now called the one bumdred. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So there you go. Um, so how did you guys find it? Because it was the first one. It's back again this year. Yeah, I saw. Well, yeah, so. it's a lot. Uh, the lineup's a lot heavier this year, doesn't it? We've got our friends in Martin Defile that are playing yeah. it, and Sick are playing it, and uh, who has it? Black Tongue, loads of people like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it seems yeah, to be like yeah. loads of like TRC. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was cool, man. It was fun. It was actually really well organised for something that only kind of started to happen, didn't it? We yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. treated really nicely and played main stage. There's a crowd, so I couldn't really ask for anything yeah. else, really. So it was alright. Yeah, it was well, cool. Actually, when we were there and we were interviewing, like I said, we do our show. We're doing the same sort of thing there. That was our first one. Uh, before we did it outside gigs, we just we tried it there, and uh, we had a couple of people say to us the band they most were looking forward to or most impressed by that they didn't know were you guys. Sweet. And cool. at that time, we were good. Like, we're hearing a lot about these guys. <laughs> <laughs> so because of that, it's it, because yeah, of man. Those kids being yeah, like, yeah. you know, oh, that's cool. Hundred, but the guys that we were. Looking well, if you're watching, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> we'll end on if you could replace yourself, just yourselves within your band, uh, with with someone else take your place. Could be alive or dead. Could be your, you know, your mate in another band, or could be someone you've never met. He's a legend. But Chris Brown. You. Yeah, I was gonna say. Chris Brown. Yeah. I love Chris Brown. He's Can sick. He do your bits? I don't. He can't scream, but I don't mind. That's fine. He's just. He's got flow. He's got rhythm. He's got groove. <laughs> the 100 end up being like a soul R and B band, which is the whole aim we're I going think, for. I think we should, Second like, album. All, all, soul should, and funk, <laughs> Phil. We should all just man place. up and deal rappers. with it. Yeah, I reckon we should have. We'd have Wiz Khalifa on bass. Right. Chris Brown on vocals, yep. drummer we could have R. Kelly, why not? <laughs> and and on guitar we could have we we'll keep it London. We'll have we'll have uh, Skepta. Yeah, Skepta has that nice. shut down. Yeah. Are you happy with that? As no, well, I'm happy yeah? with that. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather be placed with like right. just. So, all right, let's like corn, like in that video. Yeah. Oh, Twisted Chalister. There you yeah. go. Mate, maybe that's what you need to do. See, now. see, you thinking ahead. So, yeah, thinking ahead. Good. you know, right, always ahead of the game. Much. No, thank you very much, mate. Right. Cheers, Cheers, man. Have a good set. Cheers, man. Enjoy. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Take easy.